All right. So as you can see, if this market goes against me, okay, it's going to eat my stop loss and take me out of the market, which means this is the amount I'm willing to risk, I'm willing to lose in the market. But if the market comes down to where my take profit is, it's going to take me also out of the market in profit. It's going to take me out of the market in profit. So as you can see, this is how you place a page. Click on new, put your stop loss, put your take profit, and then uh, you can choose sell or buy. We'll look at other other um, types of trade data. That's whether when we use trends in order and all that. But well, that will be for a later time. But today we we'll will look majorly at market structure. Market structure. Why will we allow this trade to, to go? Okay. We we'll allow this trade to move on. Just I like to move on. Alright, so uh market structure. Market structure, that's all we discuss today. And then we're going to talk about uh, the I'm going to talk about all right. I can't hear myself. Okay. All right. I think it's good now. So we're going to talk about market structure, and then we're going to do the technical analysis. We'll look at support and resistance. We'll look at trend line. We'll look at type of trades. You know, concept of breakout mm -hmm. and retest. Okay. Hopefully we're able to cover this for today. If not, we'll continue uh, tomorrow. Now, I want to put history, history in the chat box. If you can hear me, put history in the chat box. Mm -hmm. Please put history in the chat box. Beautiful history. Now. What do I mean by history? It simply means that this market doesn't do anything new that it always repeats history. It always repeats itself. Always repeats itself. I can I, I draw I saw a little bit of history in the trade I just took now. That's why I decided okay, I want to sell rather than buy. What is the history? Market this market came down and when it got to this area, it went back up. Okay? It came down again when it got to this area. It repeated its history. It repeated its history. When it got to this area, it came back up. Okay? And I'm seeing a pattern like it wants to repeat the same history again. So I'm expecting that this market to, I'm looking at, it's possible that this market come again to this area to repeat the same history. I tell you, market repeats history from time to time. If you look to the left also, look at this place. Market came up here. It came to this area. He reversed to the upside. He came back to this same area. Can you see what happened again? He reversed to the upside. To this area, to this area, to there. He came down again. Reversed to the upside. Everything within this area. What what is the market doing? Is repeating. Is repeating itself in in a, in a kind of a pattern. You can see this area like this. Market was coming in, repeating, coming in, going back, coming in, going back. All right. And then at this point it went back up and then it came down. Look at it. This market returned around this area and look if you look left again. If you look, look left again, you can see that this market had been in this area also and had turned back up. It came to that it had turned back up. So market always repeats itself. Let's look at monthly time frame. This is monthly time frame, which means every period here is yearly. This is a whole year from this line to this line is a whole year. From this line to this line is a whole year. From this line to this line is a whole year. Now, look at this. I will draw something for you, and you will see that market actually repeats history. Always repeats history. Now, look at this.
Now, if you look at the market, this was 2016. Market came up and got to this place and reversed down. Okay? To this area. If you look at this area very well. Now, if you look at this area, this is 2010. Market came up to this point, reversed down. Okay? It came up again in 2011. So, this same area, what did it do? It reversed down again. Okay? But now it went below this area. Down. When it came up again, it crossed this area and then came to another area here. What happened? It reversed down and then it it found another area where it reversed up. And by the time it's coming up, it came again to this same area where the market turned. It turned back down. If you look at this area, each of these candles are mostly time frame. If you look at all this area, market has always been going back up, going back up. And then when it came back again in 2018, look, this was the high in 2015 and 2016. Market came back to that same place. In 2018 <coughs> look at this area in 2017 market came back to that same area in 2019 and then in 2020 <coughs> if only this 2020 where market reached in 2018 market came back to this area so it's just a repetition of pattern if I go more to the left though it's going to be <coughs> so this is all I can see this is all I can see, the monthly time frame. And it happens all the time. All the time. This happens all the time. All the time. You can see. Market is always repeating pattern. Always repeating pattern. I don't know what happened in this thing. That this thing is so like this. Some of have been wrong uh, with this pair. You know. Okay. This was a crazy market. Something was happened in this year, 2011 to this year. Wow. Okay. All right. So market always repeats itself. And when you understand how the market repeats itself, when you understand the pattern with which the market moves, it's going to help you in your trading. In your trading. It's going to help you in your trading. Okay, let me also show you another kind of pattern. If I draw a line now, this way. Of course, I've been able to teach you what we call bearish move and bullish move. Okay, and that should also tell you that market moves in patterns. Moves in patterns. You can see the market was actually going up and coming down. You know, it was forming an history. Okay, that whenever I get to this area, I will always reverse. It came back up. By the time it got back to that area again where we had markets returning, it reversed again. It reversed again. So there's always history in the market. There's always history in the market. It's always create history. Repeated, repeated history. Look at this. 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 Okay? So when you see things like this, it gives you an idea what can happen in the market. What can happen in the market. So our trade is almost getting to where we expected the history, you know, history to to repeat itself. Okay. So hopefully we are going to take a profit from uh, from this trade that we took now. Okay. Now this brings us to what I call resistance and support areas. Resistance and support areas. Can somebody type resistance in the chat box? Type resistance. Resistance, resistance, or resistance. Anyone? <laughs> Type in the chat box, please. Resistance. Now, what is resistance? We are beginning to trade forex, you know, with what we are starting right now. Resistance is 
the high point where market reversed to the downside. High point where market reversed to the downside. High point. Example. Look at this point. Market came was high here. Okay, we made a profit. All right. Okay, it's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. All right. So this is the high point. This is another high point. This is another high point. This is another high point. All these areas are areas of resistance. Area of resistance. Where market came back and then got pushed to the downside. Came back, got pushed to the downside. Somebody will say that this market has touched the way our uh, our take profit is, but has not taken us out of the market. Do you know why? Can somebody tell me why? It's because the broker as client has not touched, has not passed where my take profit is. This as client, even the market has touched where I expected it to take me out. But this broker's line, this as line must pass to the downside of where my take profit is before it takes me out of the market. If this one doesn't take me out, even though I was right, the market going to reach this point, but well, broker needs to take his money. So we need to cover for that money that we pay to the broker. That's why this line must also pass to the downside of this uh, take profit level. Okay? So back to what we're saying. If you look at this area, this looks like an area of what? Resistance to the market. When the market came in, like it's, it's like a roof. Resistance is like a roof. When the market gets to that high point, it's pushed down. Get to that high point, it's pushed down. Get to that high point, it's pushed down. Okay? So that's a resistance. Now, for a resistance to be broken, market must be very, very strong. I can see there was a very strong move to the upside that broke this resistance. And whenever a resistance is broken, it's going to look for another resistance, you know, at the at the at the higher level. Okay, and that that will happen right here. Market came to another resistance right here, and then it dropped. I can categorically tell you that if this market comes back, comes back. At any point in time to this area where it drops, the market will drop again. I can tell you that anytime this market returns back to this area and it gets to this place, market is going to drop again. Okay, because it has formed another resistance area. Can the market go to this point, it drops. When it came back again, it drops. Once the time is formed, it, it becomes like a force. It will need a very big force to break it. And that's what happened right here. And the other, the other opposite side is called, it's called support. Sorry, it's called support. Support. And where is the area of support I can see right here? You can see in this area. All right, we've taken profit, taken all out of the market. We've made money already. Okay. That's how you make money in, in uh, Forex. Ready? We already made money already on this on this account. All right. So let's look at this. Look at this area, this area of support where market the low points where market is pushed to the upside. That's the support. Low points in the market where market is pushed to the upside. Low points in the market where market is pushed to the upside. As you can see, this is a low point. This is a low point. This is a low point. I will call it support area. Call it support area. Support area. Support area. Okay. So this is support area, support area, and then when it goes to this place, it becomes a what? It's now a resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here. Now, another thing you should write down, I'm sure you've written support, you should write down this now, that whenever a support is broken, it's converted to a resistance, and vice versa. Whenever a resistance is broken, it converts to a support level. You know, uh, most often, sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time, whenever a support area or support level is broken, it converts to a resistant level. And whenever a resistant level is broken, it converts to a support level. All right, so you can see this market is not trying to go back up, just like it's repeating what history, it's repeating history, it's repeating history. Now let me ex let me show you what I mean by that by support turning to resistance. 
support turning to resistance. Now let's draw something right here. I'm looking for areas of support. You can see areas of support here. You can see areas of support right here. Where market turns up. When I say support, now I'm looking for where market, low point where market turns up. You can see a lot of turn up here. A lot of turn up here. See all this turn up, turn up here. You can see turn up, turn up, turn up. Okay? Now when it got broken right here, what happened? It came up, market moved away, and then came back and touched that area and converted it to what? A resistance. Now, which means for some period of time, this market, this area now has turned to what? A resistance area. So if, I, if market comes there, there's every possibility that it's going to what? Begin to push market to the downside. Okay? We we'll push market to the downside. Until another force comes and breaks it again to the upside. Okay? To the upside. Now, let's look at this again. Now, this was... You know that when this market came, when the market came down to this support, he pushed, he tried, he, he tried to break it. He broke it and then came back up. Okay? Now, when he was coming back up, he couldn't turn it to his support. He broke it back against the upside. And then he still now retained his what? His support area. But this time around, when he came back up, by the time he turned back, he turned it to a resistant area. Okay, let's look for uh, more examples. More examples in the market. And take TPP USD. Just clear this okay. Now I'm going to draw some areas for you. Now I want to type in the in the chat box. What kind of area is this? Support or resistance? Type in the chat box. Support or resistance. This area here. What is it? Support or resistance? Put in the chat box. Beautiful. That's a resistant area. Market go to high point and then it's being pushed down to downside. Okay? Now, what of this area? This is the what? Then obviously this is the what? Support area. Support area. Market came into this place. Push down a bit and then move back up. Support, mm -hmm. support, support. Now look at this. By the time market broke it down to this side, by the time it came back, what did, what did it do? It turned that support to what a resistance. Because if I tell you what area is it a support or resistance, what would you call it? What's this area? Resistance or support? Tell me in the chat box. This point right here, this point right here, this point right here, is it a resistance or a support area? Beautiful. This is a resistant area. But you can see in history it was a what? Support area before. It was support area before. Now it turned to a resistance by the time the market came back to that point okay now these are some of the things that we we'll look out for when we are trading forex when we are trading forex we are looking at but those are the first whenever i come to my chart i look out for those areas because those are potential areas where i can have trades okay you can see this area now let me enlarge it for you 
Let's go down to that point. You can see this area now. Market was touching that place, forming resistance. Something was just like they, they, they force pushing market down. Okay, there was a reaction here, but it got broken to the upside. When it came back, you know, that thing keep pushing it back down. You can see it came back into this place, pushed it back down. So I expect that if this market comes trade back to the downside. Okay. Now, of course, we can't, we can't say what will happen until it gets there. But when it gets there, we are going to look out for some signals, some signals to show us that market wants to come back. For example, when this market was going up, on top, it now gave us a bearish move. Look at this bearish move right here. Bearish candle. You can see this bearish candle right here. Okay, this showed me that this price has been, has been bullish, has been rejected from this one. From this area of resistance okay so once you reject it i could have actually entered a sell trade a sell trade you can see my was coming here now he tried to break it he tried to break this area of support here, you know but market has pushed it back up so i may decide okay that uh, there's a push back up maybe let's let me see if it's going to go bullish again if this candle finishes bullish maybe above this black candle. I may decide to trade this market from here back to this uh, persistent area, okay? Because I'm already seeing a rejection. This is a very solid rejection right here. Rejection back to the upside, okay? So this for me could be a potential trade. I could put um, a trade right here and then take my profit right here, okay? I take my profit right here. And that's about 700 pips about 700 pips in the market so all i need to do is just wait for market to come to this area where you know i could just mark my my area down okay i want to take my trade right here this point here once market enters into this area okay i want to take a trade here and i want to take my profit at this point that's about 700 pips move once this happens so uh that that's what um you see in the market now how do we use this majorly for trading now this goes to where we start our analysis where we start our analysis let me clear the screen again what i just did is control b and then control a delete all the drawings i put on the chart okay so it's clear again it's clear again now Now, how do we use support and resistance to to trade? How do we support and resistance to trade? It's very, very simple. I have explained it to you, but I want to go more in depth. For example, uh, you know that as a beginning trader, you don't have big money to trade, okay? Because if I want to trade this chart, for example, like what I told you, that I want to I want to put my stop loss. Saying I want to put my stop loss right here. Enter here and then take profit here. Okay. Now take profit here. Stop loss around here, at least below this area. It will be below this area. Okay, below this area of uh, support. Okay, and then I want to enter the trade right here. Do you know this is a weekly chart? And for me to take a trade like this, uh, my stop loss is going to be about 500 and about 600 pips. About 600 pips. 600 pips with the lowest lot size, which is 0.01, is going to give me about $60. Imagine I have a $100 account and I want to take a stop loss risk of $60. Doesn't mean, doesn't it? If that doesn't, does that, does not, that not mean I'm crazy, okay? I want to raise $50 out of my $100 account or out of my $200 account, which means if you have small money, you cannot trade, you know, weekly chart frames, weekly chart chart. You know, you have to go down to lower chart frames where you can have, you know, smaller areas that you'll be looking at because 
all these patterns we are seeing happens on every chart, every time frame, every time frame, every time frame you will see these areas of support and resistance. But for you to clearly, for you to clearly know exactly what the market is doing, if you want to know the history of a family, who will you check first? Is it the children or the parents? How much you tell me in the chat box? If you want to check the history of a family, who will you check first? Who will you go and look at? <laughs> Society mission. Ah, are your daily claimant has no audio. Wow. I already please. Uh, you need to, I, know, I know you can't hear me. You need to check your device. You need to check your device. Okay. So we have to check the. Let me see. Let me see. I already. I already cannot. Can you hear me now? Okay, sorry about that um, for the breaking transmission. I hope you will be able to get uh, the device, the audio working. I believe everyone can hear me because I'm seeing responses. So, uh, Victoria, I will look at the great grandfather. Now, in the time frame, definitely the great grandfather is going to be multi time frame and not the one minute time frame because this time frame happens every minute. But it takes a whole month for this to happen. So I want to know what is happening in a particular currency pair. What I want to do is check for what is happening on the great grandfather. So that we know exactly what direction you know the market is going. So and the great grandfather in Forex is a monthly time frame. So what I want to do when I get there, simple, very simple. I want to look for the areas of reversals in the market. Where market has been reversing, okay. I want to look for the support and resistance areas. Support and resistance areas. You don't need to go too far. You know, looking at 1999 is too far. I just need something very much current. What the current, you know, move of the market. This is where the market is currently. This is where the market is currently. So I want to look at what was the latest resistance and the latest support area. Okay. So what do I do? I pick up a tool. This tool is called the rectangle tool. I love using the rectangle tool to pick the area. Rectangle tool is all in your uh, MT4. If you have not downloaded your MT4, you need to do that right now on your system. But when you open your MT4, this rectangle may not show up. Like you can see, it won't show up at the at this top here. It won't show up. So what you need to do is go to right. You are going to right click on it. Click on customize. And then you look for the rectangle tool. It's a very powerful tool you will use throughout your career as a forex trader. So you just click on it and then you put it to this side and click on close. So you now have it showing there. All right. So I pick it and I would look for my areas of current resistance and support. Okay. For me, I can see this area. Look at it carefully. Market was coming, came to this area, dropped, came to this area, dropped. This is 2019 is 2018 okay so i have this area right here let me use something else 
Let me use a this color. Yeah, this is cool. So I have this area of this area of resistance. Resistance, resistance, okay. Resistance right here. Because market broke through this place, came back and found the resistance here. So I have this area of resistance. I also have this area of support. This area of support. Market tried to break through it, but was rejected back. You can see this weak candle. So rejected back into the support area. Okay? So we have this area of support. You can see support here, support here. Now, I want you to follow me carefully because you are going to draw this thing for me uh, and submit it to the Telegram chat room. I'm going to take the currency pay and draw out your areas of support and resistance. Okay? So, so this is enough for me for the uh, monthly time frame. I just need the current areas of support and resistance. What do I do next? I go to the next time frame, which is the weekly time frame. Are there some little, little areas also that uh, are there that I need to mark out? Some little areas of support and resistance that I could not see in uh, the monthly time frame. Okay? So, I'm looking at this area. This area, look at here, look at here, support, turn resistance, turn support, 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 you know, this one was a break, it break through it, and then like that. So I'm looking at this area, this area right here. It's not going to be that big, I can adjust it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see those touches, those touches, okay, you can see, resistance broke through, became a what, support, that's what I mean, resistance, resistance, it broke through here, became a support right here, if I expand it, will you not run away, yeah, turn away, let's see. broke through, became a support, and then market rallied to the upside, it came back, when it got to that area again, what happened? Market rejected it, became support, support. So you can see, formed another resistance. Mm -hmm. It came back resistance. Okay, it came back here. There was a struggle between the bears and the bulls, with the buyers and the sellers. But eventually, it broke through. Okay, and then came to form a lower what support. If you look left, you can see there was a support right here. So market just came back to that last support that I could see at the in each tree. Okay, you can see this area came back there and it was rejected the upside okay and then you can see it came up broke through again came up came down again you can see market broke through to the downside and it's been rejected on the monthly time frame you could see that it was like a like a pin or like a pin but on the weekly time frame it didn't show like pin it shows like full bars okay but it was a rejection back into this uh, support area so this is still support, this support is still old. Okay, so if market comes back, because the BS can decide to still come back, or if it doesn't come back and breaks above this, I'm expecting market to come back up to this place. Okay, so this is a weekly time frame, which is still big for a, a, a wee retail trader, small trader. So we have to go down to daily time frame to see maybe if there are small opportunities that we can we can take. Now this is where the market is, and there's been a kind of strong uh, resistance. Market has been rejected around here, and so that's the reason why I was saying that when market comes above this area, that's when I can buy. Okay, look at it. You can see that above this area. I told you that if market comes above this this black candle, I'm going to buy it. Okay. Now, daily time frame has confirmed it. This resistance has been broken. For me to be able to say I want to buy this market. This resistance can see market. These are daily candles. Every day market comes to this place, it gets rejected down. It came back up again, got rejected down, came back up. So there was rejection in this uh in this area. So there's there's a lot of rejection here. So this guy has to get broken before I can decide to buy this market. Okay? We can decide to buy this market. 
using the um, using the support and assistance system. Support and assistance system. Okay, so now uh, let me go down if there's anything I can also see. Alright, uh, the only area I can also see is that they been some rejections around here. Okay, I could mark this out also. I could mark this out also on the four hours time frame. Okay, because market came here, was rejected, came back and came what? Assistance. All these areas are very key because market will always react somehow, somehow. Once you get to that point, you got to this place, market got rejected, got this got rejected, and got broken. Okay, to the upside, and then there's been serious uh, persistence around here. So I'm waiting for two things to happen. Two things to happen. This market, you can see, also market is refusing to go below this area and go above this area. For me to trade this particular currency pair. And we want market to break down below this area, I will sell, or break up above this area, I will sell. So what I need to do right now is just to wait for one of these two things to happen. Break down, then I will sell to this next area. Okay? If it breaks this line, for example, this area where market is going to take set up, I will sell to this area. I can have like 100 pips, you know, from that move. Okay, and then I'll come out when it gets to this area. If it breaks this area, then I'm going to buy. Okay, and then look to take another 100 pips, maybe around this area. And then if it breaks above this area, what do I do? If it continues and breaks above it, you can see that there's a, there's, a, there's a support around here also. So if market breaks around here, I'll be looking at taking my profit before it is this support because this support can can push price back down so i can take a trade once market breaks above this line okay up to this area where there was in, in history there was a support but if it breaks it to the upside where am i going to be looking at again the next area of what next area of resistance to take my profit i hope i've not thrown you away <laughs> i hope I'm, I'm clear if i'm not clear please Put in the chat box. Is this clear? I hope I've not gone ahead of you. We are going to, we are going to look at one or two other charts, okay, to uh, see more clearly what we are talking about. If not clear, very less, okay. That's what I want to know. If it's clear, if it's not clear. All right, good. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. You can write the steps down while I discuss. Step one, you open your chart, you open your chart, you know, open your chart, then look for your uh, look for the template that you want to use. Template I use now. Okay, so let's remove all this. Okay, so this is USD CHF, US dollar CHF. Open your chart at step one. Step two, go to the highest time frame and then look for the areas of resistance and support. Okay, so this is. This is uh, the monthly time frame, and as you can see in this market, in fact, this is a very sweet one. There has been a consistent resistance around here, very consistent. For the past how many years, since 2015, market has been coming here and it's going down. Market has been coming here and it's going down. Violet, yeah, can you see it? If you can see this resistance area, please put yes in the chat box. This resistance area. Put yes in the chat box if you can see the resistance area. Good. 
And then if you look at the downside, I can see area of support right here. Area of support right here. Market get to this place, push up, came back again, push up, came back again, push up. I need those two points in my monthly time frame. The next thing I want you to, to do is go to my weekly time frame. Now I'm not yet deciding because I can't trade off the monthly time frame. That would be except I have perhaps some billions of money in my account. That's when I can be trading monthly time frame. Okay, so I go down to the weekly time frame. You can see it's giving us more areas, more areas that we can look at. If I look at the current area of the market, I can see also areas of what? Resistance, lower resistance area. This is another area of resistance. Market being pushed down. Okay, this is an area of resistance. And then, what of support area? Any support area? Market is being pushed up around here. Looking at these areas, this area, this area also, market is being pushed up around here. Support areas. Of course, all these points also are support areas. Could actually push it down to this area. Okay? Yeah, I, think it, I prefer that. Now, most of these areas is at the discretion of the trader. You just have to be true to yourself. How many touches have you seen for you to determine that this is the what support area? I can see, I can see touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, you know? So I believe it's a strong area of what? Area of support also. Okay? Now, I go to the daily time frame. Still, I cannot trade off the weekly time frame. So I can't make my decision of trading. On the weekly time frame, we have already shown me areas, areas of strong resistance. So when I'm taking my trade and I come close to those areas, I know that I need to be careful. So I go to the daily time frame, which is well closer to my money, but uh, I've seen some good money to trade daily time frames. Okay, uh, can I see areas now? This area is still holding that I drew in the. Uh, Weekly time frame, you see old, you can see a lot of rejection around here. So simply I know that if this market continues up, if it gets to this place, eh, it's going to come back down. It's going to come back down. It could come up. So if I did this potential trade on its own, I just continue the upward movement, and then when it gets to this place, I take my profit. Okay, that's if I'm trading off you know, the daily time frame. Okay, so are there areas of uh, support and resistance to be looking at? On the daily time frame. I want to start from here. You can see it, all these guys, support areas, resistance, turn resistance, turn resistance. So this is another area. Here's another area. Support. Even if I push it down, you can still see that it still holds. Even right here, right here, right here, right here. These are support areas. Support, 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 support. It, it got broken, came back and became a resistance. Came back down. By the time it came back, it became a what? It's still a resistance. So even before this market gets to this point, if it gets there, it's a possibility that it comes back down. Okay, and it's possible that it breaks to the upside. So, uh, now, is this clear? What I've just drawn on my chart without taking any trade, is this clear now? Violet, is this clear now? Because I want you to be able to do it by yourself. Okay, it's clear. Who else is not clear? If it's not clear, put a no. So that we know it's not clear. All right. So this is area of support and resistance in the market. Area of support and resistance in the market. All right. Because because you can just see the support area. It was support here, but here is resistance. Eh? So I, I rather call it the support resistance areas. Okay, that's what I'm looking out for. 
now can i trade off this if i want to take a trade in this market now okay can i buy this market if i buy this market where will my where will my risk be those are the questions you begin to ask yourself okay but since this daily time frame personally i like using the four hour time frame for my trading decisions i like using the four hour time frame for my trading decisions it's my best uh chart that i use for my trading four hours four hours i use the four hours time frame after i've known where my areas of uh, these are areas where markets might can get to now two things i'm looking for now from what i've been looking at i know there's a strong resistance area here a strong support area here you know from what i've done in the higher time frame so two things i'm looking for let me go down a bit there's another area of resistance two things the market can do the market can come up here and then break down come back okay well the first area i can come back to you can, can come back to this area so because on the four hour time frame, i can see some areas here okay looking at this this place so the market can come to this place okay that's one way market can move another way can move is can get to this place and come back down to this place that's another way the market can move okay now another way the market can move is this market can come up and break through this area of resistance can just come up break through the resistance and when it breaks through where am i expecting the market to get to the next resistance area that's another move the market can do so let me change this to this color so the market can decide to just break through and then the next area is coming to is this area so what are the possibilities the probabilities of the market is a break of this area or a reversal at this area okay now how do i know whether i want to once the market gets to this place how do i know whether it will cross over or it will come back that will be another topic for another day that's where we are going to be looking at candlestick pattern candlestick pattern for example when this market came up here there's something i've been looking at when it came up here i could have i could have taken a cell i would have taken a cell right here because of some pattern that i already saw here so we're going to get to that point where we look at candy stick pattern but what i want to master right now is areas of what support and resistance in the market it goes a long way to let me save this this class so that i won't be looking for it okay so i've saved my template as class okay so let's take one more before we call it a day let me take uh, euro usd euro usd change my template to class okay so this is class what do i do the first thing you go to monthly time frame look for my areas let me remove all this drawing that we do control b control a delete all right so have a clear screen now obviously it is very very fast i love clear charts like this this is an area of support yes or no yes or no please put in the chat box yes or no i really claim it okay yes beautiful this is an area of support is an area of support so i expect that when market get to this area mm -hmm. it should be looking to reverse to the upside you, you can see this happened in 2014 
2015. Now, the history is about to repeat itself. That's why I told you to say history when we started. History is about to repeat itself. Okay? So there's most likely that it's going to come back down. Look at what happened here. Before now, there was an area of what? Support right here. What happened when it got there? It turned to resistance after breaking it, and that market came back to that point. It became a strong resistance. Okay? So obviously, what's going to happen is if this guy comes back to this place and becomes rejected at the upside, I'm expecting it to come back right up to this resistance here. Okay? But that's if I'm trading off the monthly time frame. But I can't trade off monthly time frame because it will be a lot of money you know, for me to take such risk. Imagine if I had seen this, maybe I was market that happened here, and I put my uh, my stop loss around this area where I know market will not come to, and I put my take profit around this area. Monthly guys could have actually been in this trade and earned so much. Okay, those who trade off monthly, they could have entered the trade right here after they've seen this candlestick pattern that happened here. Okay, and they have been, will have been selling. For years, we have people that that old trade for years in this market. If this is this downtrade has been for this is the third year running now. When market hits this place, this is 2017. Market has been going down, coming back down to this area of support. So people might have been trading this for years and holding Euro USD and be selling it. Just just put it there and then just go and do other things in their life and they are just making money. Okay? But we can't trade off the monthly time frame. So we have to go to our left for now. Because we'll soon get there. So any area, any area right here of resistance and support in between that we can see. The answer is yes. You can see this area right here. This is area of resistance. Right? Area of resistance. And what happened right here? It held true when market came back. It got broken. It became a what? Support right here. And see when it got broken, market came back to that area, turned to a support, and then pushed up. It came back down here. There was struggle around here. There was struggle, but it got broken eventually. When it got broken to this side, it came back, touched it, made, made it a what? Resistance. Came down, touched again, resistance, came down. Market came back and formed the what? Resistance again at that area. Now it market has pushed down. It's coming back to the all year low, all year support. Okay? So as I can I'm already seeing that this market is a bearish market already. Obviously, you know this is a bearish direction, this is a bearish trend. And I see this market is trying to locate this support. So for me, if I was a weekly trader, I can just jump into this market, okay, and just take it down. And then expect when it gets to this point, I take my profits and then look out if it's going to come back up. But then, I can't trade off the weekly time frame. What do I do? I go to the daily time frame. I look at what is happening there. Now, this is the daily time frame. Okay, let's take it uh, a bit more, smaller. Now, any area that we're looking at, Okay, I see this area of resistance, resistance and support. Let me bring it to be clear. This is one touch resistance. It got broken, became a support. You can see what's this? Resistance. Market came back, resistance, like that. Okay. There are so many areas like that that you can pick here. Okay, I can see another area right here. Another area right here. Okay, another area right here. This support, support, support. Drop broken, drop broken. Market has so the latter. Now, this market is trying to, is now coming back. Now, if you look now, the only area where this market is having a possible uh, push-up is if the market does not reverse here. 
it has to come down. Why does it if it does not reverse? Look at this area. See this area? Market came down to this place and reversed. And the market is there. For me to sell this market continuously, I want to make sure that this this area gets broken. Because this is a what? Support area. Yes, it got broken and got broken here, but now it's coming back to this place. Because it got broken before, does not mean cannot hold it in. So market got here, it got rejected, but it's still trying to push down. Sellers are still trying to push down this market. But it's in the area of what? Support. So for me to trade this, I want this market to break through. Let's say break through, clear breakthrough. I want a, a, a solid body, a solid candle to break through this guy. Then I can sell, and then I can target the first area, target this area, one, okay? If it breaks, I can get about 70 to 80 pips within this area, okay? And then my next area that I'll be targeting is obviously this area. This area also. Can see this area can also be an another area of what target another area of target. Now, I want you to note that this today's topic will based solely on support and resistance. Okay, but you don't trade only on that information. You need there are so many other things that will be processing, which we'll be discussing tomorrow. Okay, when it gets to this point, what's that you now? So we're going to look at. What do you how do you determine okay it has been rejected or it has not been rejected? Something must happen. So those things we are going to be discussing when we get to candlestick pattern. But mm -hmm. your assignment mm -hmm. is look for two currency pairs and I want you to draw the uh support and resistance on both I want to see your support and resistance on both daily and four hour time frame. You can choose any two currency pairs, any two currency pairs. Any two currency pairs. For those of you that have gotten your, uh, you've downloaded your MT4, how do you log into your account? It's very simple. You go to File. You go to Login to Trade Account. Then you see where you put your login and password. And then the server. Those details will have been sent to you to your email. Or you can ask the account officer to give you your, your details. But I'm sure it's going to be sent to your email. Okay? So here you put your login, your password, and then the server, you put your server also, then you choose your server there and click on login. Once you click on login, you go to save your details and then you go to open your chat for you. All right, so you can actually use a demo account, you know, to do that. And use a demo account or even your, your real account, but I'm not asking you to click any trade for now. I'm only telling you, draw out your support and resistance areas. Now, does anybody have a question? I'm going to open if I have a question, put out the question in the chat box. Put I have a question in the chat box so I can unmute you. We have about um, five minutes to do that because our time is already up. Mm -hmm. Immediately after this class, the audio, yes, you get the recording immediately after this class. I'll drop it immediately in the uh, Telegram group, okay? You get it immediately. We record every training, every, because we have many people that uh, joined, but that are not, are not paying clients, and um, they, get the, they are learning through the video, so... We're going to get this. They are going to get the video also. Okay, Mr. Biodun has a question. Um, let me unmute you. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sir. All right, Mr. Biodun, let me have your question. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'd already even tried to type it out. Just wanted uh, you've um, you've um, taught us on the uh, support and resistance. 
uh, how to draw them. I wanted to ask also of the one that is diagonal. Okay, that we are going to take that tomorrow. I will take that. Too. Okay, okay, okay. That's all called okay. friends and friends and all that. So we'll take it gradually okay. so that we'll not rush. I want people to Bye. grab every 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 step. I want them to get every step. Okay. So okay, okay. We'll get we'll get to that point. Yeah. Sorry. This, okay. This is our assignment. Is you say we should draw it on monthly and weekly time frame. I said the support. Eh? I said four hours and daily time frame on two currency okay, pairs. Okay, four, hours four hours and daily. I want to see support and stand on four hours and daily okay, time frame. Four hours. On okay. two currency pairs. Four hours. Okay. Any other person with question? Let me see. Chat room. How can one be a broker? <laughs> Oh my God! I never let you know. How can you be a broker? Ah. You can't get license, so you can't get license to be a broker. Okay? But me, I don't want to be a broker right now, Sha. Eh? You, there's a license. You have to approach um, World Bank. They are the ones that are in charge of forex. You have to get a license. They are licensing companies that give you license to become a broker. So. It is like that, and then you must have the money, money to invest in the infrastructure, the technology that will make it available to people. So, but for me, I don't think um, that. Well, we we'll take it level by level. I mean, eventually be a broker in the, in the future, but uh, it takes a lot of um, of um, money power to become a broker. All right, so that would be awesome. Now, let me stop. Thank mm -hmm. you.